Hey guys, now that I have finally uploaded the second part of my outdoor jersey video series, sharing my thoughts on all of the outdoor jerseys worn up until this past 2015-16 NHL season, and also now that I have finally resolved the problems with my computer that have been causing me grief for the past couple of weeks, I'm very pleased to announce that I should be able to start uploading videos more consistently again. And honestly, guys, I could not be happier to say that because thanks to my computer, my channel unfortunately took an unexpected, unfortunate hiatus from new videos being uploaded. Anyways, here's the interesting thing that's led me to do this video. Anyways, between the day that I uploaded the first part of that series, all the way up until the other night when I finally uploaded the second part of this series as of this video, which today I believe is August the 19th, 2016, the Jets and Oilers dropped a bomb. In fact, they've already unveiled their 2016-17 Heritage Classic jerseys. And that has been something that I was honestly not expecting until September. And I kind of figured that after taking an unexpected hiatus from video making because of my faulty computer, which has now been fixed, I've decided to make a surprise part three, which will, with that, this will be the final video in my outdoor jersey series. But anyways, for this video, instead of sharing my thoughts on all of the older NHL outdoor jerseys, in this video, I will be sharing my thoughts on only the outdoor jerseys unveiled for the upcoming 2016-17 NHL Heritage Classic between the Edmonton Oilers and the Winnipeg Jets in Winnipeg. So with that, these are the jerseys that will be used for the alumni game as well as the main event, the Heritage Classic. So the Oilers for the alumni game will be wearing their regular home jersey, which is always a great choice in my opinion. And as for the Jets, um, for the first time since late or since early 1990, which to be honest was actually before I was born, true story, a um, little bit before my time, but for the first time since early 1990, the Winnipeg Jets are bringing this white jersey back. And something a little bit interesting about it, did you know that this jersey's design was actually brought in by a man named John Ferguson, who was actually the New York Rangers general manager from 1976 till 1978, I believe. And he was actually part of the jersey design process that led the New York Rangers to ridiculously ditch their iconic jerseys for a jersey with the exact same template as this with the New York Rangers shield on the front instead of the Winnipeg Jets logo. And when he became the general manager of the Jets, he carried that design over and gave it to the new NHL expansion Jets, which were part of the World Hockey Association's merger with the NHL, which resulted in the Hartford Whalers, Quebec Nordiques, Edmonton Oilers, and the Jets joining the NHL for the 1979-1980 season. And the Jets wore this uniform here from late 1979 all the way till early 1990, and then after that, the Jets finally switched to this jersey here, which in my personal opinion is much better than the alumni ones that they've brought back for 
the alumni game. And with that as well, you know, I'm I'm glad that they brought this one back though because it as I said earlier, it has not been used since early 1990. So, I think it's nice to see this jersey make a comeback for this special event. But anyways, I want to point one quick little detail out before I talk about the Heritage Classic jerseys and it's that the shade of blue on this alumni jersey is actually quite a bit brighter than the Heritage Classic jersey that the Jets will be using. But anyways, I, I want to finally get talking about the main Heritage Classic jerseys, which... But anyways, I want to start off with the Oilers, because the Oilers have actually decided to... Um, they've decided to bring... Let me see, what is going on with my computer? There we go, I fixed it. So the Oilers, all they've done is they've brought their uh, throwback orange Alberta Oilers WHA throwback jersey back for this game, which they wore set for seven games last year as part of their special farewell tributes to their old arena, which was called Rexall Place, which... Now they're moving into their new arena for the 2016-17 season. And I hope that the Oilers are keeping this as a third jersey. And as far as I know, I'm 99.9% .9 sure that they are. But anyways, I want to touch base on that a little bit later on in the video. But anyways, the Oilers have brought this orange Alberta Oilers jersey back. And with the... Jets and Oilers playing outdoors, I think it's great that both teams are wearing World Hockey Association throwbacks. And for the Oilers, I'm glad that they've kept it as an accurate throwback with the shoulder numbers. And they've also cleverly put the Heritage Classic patch in the blank space between the shoulders and the uh, arm stripes instead of the numbers. So hats off to Edmonton for keeping the jersey historically accurate, even though I would like to see the Oilers eventually move the numbers onto the arms where the patch is, if they do end up making it their third jersey. But as I say that though, the numbers don't look all that bad on the shoulders. But as I say that, I definitely did not like that the Panthers did that with their new uniforms. But anyways, that's a little, little bit off topic. So anyways, I'll get to that in a bit too. So here's Winnipeg's Heritage Classic jersey and also note the matching old school color design which I thought was awesome. And with that I think Winnipeg made an awesome choice because with this jersey here when the Jets wore this back when they were part of the World Hockey Association back from the 1970s or during the 1970s, I should say. The thing about the Jets is that in the, their time in that league, they won three AFCO World Trophies during their era, during the World Hockey Association era. And they, they actually won the very last AFCO World Cup or World Trophy in the final game of the WHA's existence against the, okay, maybe not the Edmonton Oilers. Let me check that, actually. That's an interesting thing. I actually, I'm not sure, did they actually beat the Oilers? I want to check that because that's an interesting, that's a very interesting piece of uh, information that I'd like to know. Um, let's see. So... Okay, they actually beat the Edmonton Oilers to win the Af their final AFCO World Trophy. And this jersey, that when the Jets wore it, they won three AFCO World Trophies in their time in the World Hockey Association. And I think it's a great idea on Winnipeg's part to bring this jersey back. And the truth is, I love how they've darkened the blue. I think it looks really sharp on this jersey. And the truth is... I've always loved this jersey, and I'm so happy to see it finally getting used in the NHL. 
And I believe that this jersey from versus this one is going to be one hell of a beautiful jersey matchup. Though as I say that though, I am a little bit biased because my favorite color is orange. But just forget that I said that, okay? <laughs> but besides my personal bias for the color orange, I think this is going to be an absolutely gorgeous jersey matchup. I can't wait to see it, and I already love both jerseys. And I think the Jets made a great, great... I think they made a great decision bringing this old WHA white jersey back. And also, here's another shot of that jersey on a player. Mark Shifley, to be exact. And notice the striping on the pants. And notice a little logo between the stripes. Very nice jersey. Very classy. And here's a close-up of it. I'll get to that one in a minute. And there's some extra photos that I want to quickly show. So, first off... Here's the logo that will be on the pants, and I think it's really cool that the Jets have done this, because I think it's a pretty sharp little touch. I like the uh, jet in the circle. May actually make a good alternate jersey logo one day on the right jersey even. And also, let's see here. Here's another picture of the uh, Jets jersey up close, and I want to show it a little bit close uh, I want to do a little, little tiny bit of a close-up because there's an interesting thing about the logo itself on the jersey and it's that the logo is actually chain stitched which I thought was very odd but at the same time it is a really cool little throwback touch the Jets have done and the truth is I think it really makes this jersey a little bit more throwback, and I think that's really cool. Plus, I love chain stitching on logos. I really do. It really adds this extra level of quality. But I say that as a hockey jersey nerd and a little tiny bit of a jersey collector. I've grown, I've grown to really enjoy collecting the odd jersey. Like, I, I have a few jerseys, but... I must say, when I see certain jerseys, I love the certain bits of quality that they put on them. Like, for example, chain stitching, um, the odd gradients in rare cases, and sometimes just the feel of the logo or the sewn-on shoulder patches. Things like that, little tiny bits like that, or the way they've put something on. It always amaz It always interests me how they design certain jerseys and how they put certain materials together. But I think that may just be me, but that's the that type of thing really fascinates me. It's one thing that I really enjoy about jerseys. But anyways, it's a little bit off topic, and I'm going to go back to what I was saying. But anyways, with these two jerseys, I think they're a great choice. But the only thing I kind of wish would have happened was that the Jets would have brought back the blue version so that the Oilers could bring this white Alberta Oilers throwback back for the Heritage Classic. Now I still think the orange jersey is an awesome choice but, I, but I'm positive that the Oilers are making it their third jersey when they go to um, their new arena and I've already I can actually pretty much confirm that, that that's already happening because this orange jersey has been so popular in Edmonton and rightfully so, it's a beautiful jersey. But I kind of would have liked to have seen the Oilers use this outdoor game as an opportunity to bring this old white Alberta Oilers jersey back for a game. But it's not re really the end of the world. And also, I want to quickly mention something else about this Jets jersey. Now, I kind of wonder if the Jets may have also picked the WHA throwback instead of one of the two NHL throwback options they could have picked because of the fact that this Jets franchise, this Jets NHL franchise, is not the one that played in 1979 all the way up until 1996 when they originally relocated to Arizona before the Winnipeg Jets were revived as a result of the Thrashers relocating back to Winnipeg.
which they're not the same franchise. They're not the same franchise, but they're still the Winnipeg Jets. They're still a team called the Jets. And I kind of wonder if the NHL's current version of the Winnipeg Jets decided to bring back the World Hockey Association throwback instead of an NHL one in an effort to play it safe. And I could be wrong, but I think that would actually make a lot, a lot of sense. Especially maybe, you know, I could easily see the Jets thinking that it might be in bad taste to do an NHL throwback Jets jersey this soon after only after being back in the NHL for six seasons now. Can't believe it's been that long already. Amazing how time flies. But anyways, I honestly believe that this is going to be one hell of an awesome looking game. And something else about this Jets jersey, it's actually going to be worn two more times after the Heritage Classic game. And... I hope that Winnipeg will end up doing what the Capitals did after they brought their white retro jersey back for the 2010-11 season Winter Classic game against the Penguins. And I hope that the Penguins, or, or pardon me, sorry, I hope that just like the Capitals throwback jersey, the Jets will make this one their third jersey in upcoming seasons because I think it's such a nice jersey and Washington made it work with a white throwback third jersey I can't see why Winnipeg couldn't make it work as well and I also like the little nod to the current Jets by making the shade of blue slightly darker than the original which I thought was actually a nice touch and I think I actually like it better I usually don't like it when teams darken the colors but I think this is a rare exception. I think it's very sharp and very classy. In fact, I want one of both of these jerseys. They're, they're, I think they're that good. But anyways, with that, um, let's see. Is there anything else I want to quickly mention? All I can really mention besides that is that I think both of these jerseys are awesome. And I think they should both be third jerseys for uh, Winnipeg and Edmonton alike. I kind of thought it was a bit of a bummer that they didn't bring this jersey back. But you know what? This orange jersey is so nice. I honestly could care less. But yeah, anyways, that's it for my thoughts on the 2016-17 Heritage Classic jerseys. And... All I can say is that I can't wait to see all four of these jerseys for this event. I think they're all really nice. The And you know what? It's also nice to see this alumni jersey. Even though I would have preferred Winnipeg if Winnipeg would have brought back the one that they wore back in the Timu Solani era of the Jets before they relocated. But that's not really a big deal. But anyways... Just like the past two videos, I hope you guys not only enjoyed enjoyed this series, but I hope you guys also enjoyed this video. And in an effort to, um, and out of respect, I'm going to keep this video short, much shorter than my last one. And I don't want it to be as long because I still believe, and I apologize for the length, for the fact that the last video was over 35 minutes long. But anyways, with that, I'm going to call this video a wrap. And until my next video, which is actually going to be something different from what you're used to if you're a subscriber or a regular viewer. But anyways, until that next video gets uploaded, as always, take care and bye for now. And I cannot wait to see this Heritage Classic game. Wow. Really nice jerseys. Anyways, take care.